The idea of a new playground in one Friendship Heights neighborhood at first had people excited. But that quickly changed when they saw what the playground would look like. Hatzel Vela explains how city leaders are now responding to the criticism. It's a small park nestled in between high rises. Easy to miss until you see folks like Peg Downey walking her dog Sammy. Well, I was happy that there would be a playground. I was happy there would be something for the younger kids. But these drawings changed her mind. Beyond tacky, it was 16 feet tall, garish colors. Outrage from more than 150 residents who signed a petition angry over the scope and size of a playground the Friendship Heights Village Council planned to build. I would just like it to be more organic and fit in with the surrounding. Residents not just concerned about plans for this massive playground, they're also concerned about what they call a focal center to this park, a tree which they think may be cut down shocked when I heard that that meant they were going to cut down that beautiful tree. Kimmy Go lives in the building right across the park. She feels plans to build a playground were pushed through without significant public input. It just overwhelms the rest of the park. She's not opposed to the playground, but wants the village to really think about its size. Looks like the village and its council is listening. Alvin Morris, one of the council members, has been pushing for this playground. He says the sketches were never meant to be final. Quite frankly, I found it a little bit overbearing too. Morris says new drawings are currently being sketched. The colors will be muted so the playground fits in with its surroundings and the tree will not be removed. We have tried in any way we can to listen carefully to them and to uh, compromise where is necessary. On February 18th, the village will unveil new drawings. The hope is that people will drop by so they can talk about what they like and don't like. In Friendship Heights, Hatsovella, ABC 7 News.